Okay, here we're going to do a video on the rainbow chalk nails that I just did. Super fun. They're like, they look like neons. So I did a base coat of like a sheer pink, a nude, and then I matted it out with a matte that I used Urban Graffiti. It's good. I used a matte uh, top coat. And this is gel polish that we're working with right now instead of gel paint. So, And then I did a white coat. I used Snow White, just one coat, and cured it to the full extent. And then I used my e-file to drill color. You can see where I got the green. I'm just going to do a little bit so you can see it. And then I drilled down. Wear a mask when you're doing this. You don't want this in your lungs. You don't want anything in your lungs. Always wear a mask. See? And then you can just get a little bit of color off the end of the pastel or chalk. And it's a Statler product that I'm using. It's really good. It really pigmented. There. So I've got my colors all laid out. I've got my white and then I'm going to use a mongoose brush. So this is a synthetic mongoose from Heinz Jordan. It's a round, nice stiff bristle. And then I'm going to take the color. I don't know what colors to do. They're all so pretty. I'll do one that is orange to yellow and another we'll do in the green to blue. So all I'm doing is patting it over top of where the white is. Actually, the whole nail. Just pat it over the whole nail. It won't hurt anything. And then I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to go back and pick up some yellow. And I'm going to do that yellow spot. So I tap it on first and get it right into the sticky top layer of the white. See? That in there. And then I'm going to brush it off with, I'm just using a fan brush. Get most of the loose stuff off. And then I'm going to go back over with a shiny top coat. I am using the Urban Graffiti again. Shiny top coat. Just to go over top of where the color is. So I'm just hitting. You want to make sure you try and not hit the outside. If you don't get the edge, when you wipe it off, there'll be like a little white lip and it'll show. So you want to make sure that you get that. All around the edges. There we go. You can use a smaller brush. This is just a, you know, just a throwaway brush, I guess. It's not a very expensive brush. Not very fine. I could use a finer brush to get in there. But you can see how I got all the edges all the way around there. These have a little bit of a texture to them. So, you know, if you're putting them on anybody who doesn't like texture, you might want to think twice about how you go about it. So I'm going to pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds to cure it. And then I'm going to do the green to blue. Maybe I'll do blue to purple. Let's do blue to purple. Okay. Such good colors. And it sticks better if you get it right when it comes out of the light. There we go. Get that right in there. stuff okay brush it off it's a nice fade I think I want a little bit more blue on it in the middle so I'm just gonna push some more in there we go so I'm gonna top coat that with clear and then I'm gonna come back okay so I'm just going to take 
a little bit of alcohol on a wipe and get rid of that sticky top layer, whatever chalk is left over. There we go. There's no sticky top layer on this top coat. It's a really good top coat, so it's a no wipe. But I can get rid of all the extra chalk, and that looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with more white dots because I want to do leopard print. So I'm going to put white dots... Try and stick within the pattern. There we go. I think that's got it. Maybe one more right there. There, that looks pretty good, I think. There. So I'm going to pop that in the light and be right back. Okay there it's out of the light so I want blue dots on this to contrast I could have done I could have done green or blue maybe I could have done purple too anyway what I'm going with is blue so I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that blue onto where the white was I'm going pretty hard I want it to be coated really nicely There, that's pretty good. Nice contrast. And then I'm gonna take my, you can't see the numbers anymore. This is like a triple zero script liner by Heinz Jordan. It's a micro mini. And I'm gonna use the black gel polish from Urban Graffiti. By, it's called Serious Black. It's a good color. It's like super opaque black. So I'm gonna just go in and I'm gonna go around like leopard printing those dots just to make the leopard print pattern. Try and vary it. Make sure all your spots don't have the same pattern on it. And if you want to, you can do like a really fancy leopard print by pulling the black slightly in one direction and making it look like fur. That's complicated. We're not going to do that. We're just going to do this today. There's all the leopard prints. And now I'm going to fill it in with a little bit of dotty texture to pull just a little bit extra in there. I usually do dot three sets of threes. That's looking pretty good, I think. There, I think that's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to put this back in the light and be right back. 